Hello everyone, welcome Daniel here and welcome to my world shopping doors. In this one I particularly focused on trying to build a set of shopping doors as well as a this was mainly based off a redstone house where you get to see things show up and all sorts of things come out and things so I decided well why don't I do one involving mainly a shopping center. So well you can't particularly buy much in this shop, it's kind of like a food court with chests for, built from Minecraft players. Anyway, you know how shopping doors work. Essentially, you stand on them, they open, and then you can stand, and then they'll close automatically behind you. Um, this is my updated version of it. In fact, this is what the outside of it actually looks like. Crazy this entire world, and that's all that's being built for this. So, security reasons. Basically, you have a button at the back. Yeah, we have to. Turn on the inner part. Oh, there's the power, and there's the out. Oh, by the way, I'll show you. When the power's not on, also good as an emergency exit. Yeah, when the power's not on, not only will it allow things to happen, you also won't be able to get in. So the power has to be on. Um. So all the switches, well in simplicity they explain themselves, in allows you to get into the building, out allows you to get out of the building, and power controls the whole system itself. Let's actually look at all of that. Yeah, it's a bit delayed. So I can control whether someone comes in or goes out. Here's the inside of the building. Ah, the chests are actually full of something, so that's nice to know. So we've got tables, and we couldn't put anything there because emergency use only. All right, now I'll show you downstairs redstone. Basically, it's all the and what's pretty much doing is going to different places, collecting the redstone signals from the outer end, and sending upstairs to be logic gate with. The only problem is though that the whole process takes a while. And then we got upstairs. Now is the out switch, the in off, and the in switch. And then that one's for the power. You see, go to different places, and then lastly ends at the shopping doors. Essentially, it's a whole heap of end gates that determine. Essentially, it's a set of end gates that determine whether there should be a output to it or not. Now, let's get in here. Okay, now without the power, here's what it looks like. Yep, there it is without the power. Again, I can't actually get out because the power's not on. So you need both the power and the signals in order for it to work. And then, quite dark. And then we've got upstairs, where basically, due to the power being off, it causes the main end gate to fail. That causes all the other end gates to fail. So, yep. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this world. Actually, nothing else interesting to it. So, thank you. Whether you'd like to like, dislike, or subscribe is completely up to you, as I shouldn't have to tell you what to do.